This is the uh, morecalculators.com tutorial for the quick mortgage calculator. At morecalculators.com we have many free calculators to help you with buying a car, buying a home, renting a home, estimating your taxes, making a budget, calculating your income, and investing in real estate. We have over 15 calculators there and they're all free to use. This is the uh, home page for morecalculators.com and so what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and scroll down the screen here to the quick mortgage calculator and you'll see here, there it is. We'll just click on that. The quick mortgage calculator is actually accessible from two websites. Obviously morecalculator.com would be one of them and the other one is mortgagegizmo.com and uh, we also have another uh, more advanced mortgage calculator at mortgagegizmo.com but for this uh, tutorial we're just going to talk about the quick mortgage calculator. So here's the quick mortgage calculator. Um, the quick mortgage calculator allows you to quickly um, calculate mortgages, um, real estate mortgages uh, in the United States. Um, you'll see here we have uh, uh, the quick mortgage calculator has a total of four entry boxes and a submit box. It all shows up on one screen and you can change any of the information and just click submit again and it will give you new information. So it allows you to quickly do what you need to do. Uh, here's two of the entry boxes, monthly P&I payment and the an annual interest rate. Down here we have loan term and finance amount. Okay, then over here to the left a little bit we have submit and a reset button which just resets everything to blank. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do something very easy for the tutorial. We do $1,000 a month for a monthly. This a p and i payment is principal and interest. Don't worry about property taxes or anything else. Okay, or property insurance. Uh, annual interest rate, we're going to say they got a really good rate, 5.875%. That probably doesn't exist anymore. Okay, a loan term of 30 years. Pretty standard stuff. Now, when you use this calculator, the computer, it allows you to enter any three of the boxes and the computer will solve the fourth, okay? In this case, it and it always defaults to the finance amount. When you first load it, it says it'll solve the finance amount for you, okay? So if you type in the other three, you can leave this one blank and it'll tell you the answer to that box. You could also uncheck this box and check this one instead and it would solve for in this case loan term okay so we're gonna put it back to here we're gonna solve for the finance amount we're gonna have the computer tell us how much uh, the finance amount would be or the mortgage principal go over here to uh, submit click on submit up here at the top of the page it tells you the mortgage principal is 169 50 and 91 cents okay so that's the mortgage principal that comes up when you enter those uh, details. The uh, other feature of the quick mortgage calculator is down here. Uh, underneath where you enter the information, it calculates the principal, the in interest, and the grand total for that mortgage. So basically it just calculates that out for you so you know that information as well. Now, we can, uh, we just calculated uh, for the finance amount or the principal amount. Now, we can also calculate for any of the other ones. So for instance, let's just go with 170. Now 170 is going to be a higher than the 169, 050, 91, okay? So, and we want to calculate the monthly payment. So what we're going to do, we're going to uncheck this one, go up here to monthly payment, and check that one instead. You could also remove the uh, numbers out of there, but it doesn't matter because the computer will do it automatically for you if you don't yourself. Okay, so now we would expect a payment just a little bit higher than a thousand dollars a month. Okay, if the calculator is working correctly, we'll click on submit, go up here to the top of the screen, and you'll see it says the monthly payment is one thousand and five dollars. So you see it was uh, correct. Now we'll go over here, put that back at a thousand, and what we're gonna do is we're going to solve uh, for the annual interest rate instead, okay? Um, and then we're gonna click on submit. 
Now the interest rate is a little bit trickier than the other two boxes. It says the annual the interest rate is estimated at 6.313. So you see it's an estimate, it's not the actual interest rate. The computer can only estimate um, the interest rate. Um, in this case it's a little high, it could go either way. So um, just kind of remember that um, it's an estimate only. You can check to see what the estimate, how good it is, because we can go in here and type in 6.313, uncheck this box, go down here to finance amount, check it. Now remember with a 5.85% mortgage, the finance amount was 169. If we click on submit, go up here, it says 161. So you see it's a little bit off and you can play with this number. You could keep playing with this interest number a little bit if you wanted to get more accurate. You know, we could go 5.9 and now we're at 168 and so on and so forth, okay? So that's how that works. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this back at our 5.875 that we started with and I'm gonna uh, check this box that says loan term of uh, I want the computer to solve that one for me. And we're going to put in our uh, 169.050.91. That, that's our original answer for this mortgage, okay? So, and we're going to solve for the loan term. Click on submit. Go up here to the top. It says the loan term is 30 years or 360 months. So, we would know that that's right. Now, what if I paid an additional $100 a month on the mortgage? Maybe 1100 Click on Submit. Go over here. The loan term is 23.82 years. So you see we were able to uh, hack off seven years off the mortgage just by paying another $100 a month. Obviously, the other way you can uh, reduce your term is to make a payment every two weeks um, instead of every month. That's the other common uh, way to do that. Now, one uh, thing about our calculators is that um, anytime you click on submit, um, we send you back the information that you're looking for. And if you look here at the address bar, it also has all these numbers in it. What this allows you to do is it allows you to save this information. Okay? And what you do is you click on favorites, add to favorites, and click OK. What this has done is it has saved this particular address onto your computer and your bookmarks file. Uh, it does not save anything on our server. Then, when you come back to this uh, address, it's sending back all of this information to our server, and then our server responds accordingly with the answer. So you can save your work. Um, some of our calculators ask for over 100 different pieces of information. So, in that case, the uh, save your work function really uh, is helpful. So you'd always want to click on submit, get the latest answer, then save your favorite, and then you're good to go. So that's the uh, mortgage calculator found at morecalculators.com. You can contact us at morecalculators.com. Uh, just uh, click on the contact us button, or the help center, I believe is what it's called. And uh, you can uh, contact us. Um, be sure to use any of our other calculators at uh, morecalculators.com. And thank you very much, and have a great day.